So Ryan, I know you were uh, on the forefront of this. I mean, Wildcat NIL is, is your brainchild. Tell us how what is now Wildcat NIL came to be. Yeah, well, I don't know that I deserve all the credit. Um, in, in a synopsis, Wildcat NIL is a culmination of former K-State student athletes who have come together to help make a difference for Kansas State University and level the playing field. And, um, you know, when it originally first started, it was back December 2021. We were getting ready to play LSU in the Texas Bowl. I was in my senior season and um, my playing career was coming to an end and I was pretty well aware of that my shoulder was torn up and Coach Kleiman, he does exit meetings with every single player. So I went up and saw him and I have a really good relationship with Coach Kleiman. I said, Coach, I've loved everything about your program. You know, it's been nothing but a joy. However, I think we have to be open to NIL here at K-State. K-State family. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Cats Talk, hosted by Wildcat NIL. We hope you enjoyed the conversation. Be sure to like, comment, or subscribe wherever you find your podcasts, including Apple, Spotify, and YouTube. Please also follow us on social media. Your support makes it so we can continue to put out these podcast episodes. If you're looking for more information on NIL, please visit www.catsnil.com. Thanks for your support and go Cats. Here for another episode of Cats Talk hosted by Wildcat NIL. My name's Curry Sexton. I'm joined here by my two partners, Ryan Hennington and Pearson McAtee. Throughout the, the history of Wildcat NIL, I guess it's been almost two years now, we often get asked, how does it work? What do you guys do? Um, and so we thought it'd be good to just have a little informational episode where we talk about the history of Wildcat NIL and how we got to where we are now and, and how it works, um, just so people can maybe get a better understanding of, of what NIL looks like at K-State. So Ryan, I know you were uh, on the forefront of this. I mean, Wildcat NIL is, is your brainchild. Tell us how what is now Wildcat NIL came to be. Yeah, well, I don't know that I deserve all the credit. Um, in, in a synopsis, Wildcat NIL is a culmination of former K-State student athletes who have come together to help make a difference for Kansas State University and level the playing field. And, um, you know, when it originally first started, it was back December 2021, we were getting ready to play LSU in the Texas Bowl. I was in my senior season and um, my playing career was coming to an end and I was pretty well aware of that my shoulder was torn up and Coach Kleiman, he does exit meetings with every single player. So I went up and saw him and I have a really good relationship with Coach Kleiman, you know, to the point where I've been able to hang out with his family and swim in his pool in his backyard and we're, we're really honest with each other. And I said, Coach, I've loved everything about your program. You know, it's been nothing but a joy. However, I think we have to be open to NIL here at K-State. And he looked at me and he said, NIL? I, I just don't think we're going to have much NIL at K-State. And I said, well, not if we can do something about that. And he said, okay, well, put your pen to paper and see what ideas you can come up with. And a couple weeks later, um, started calling around and got some former players together. And we said, coach, yo, you know, we're all in. So we sat down and said, we want to help. And we want to put together what is an NIL group or a collective. And um, from there, one of the first ventures was to support walk-ons on the football program. And we were able to support them. Um, with substantial funding to help pay for their tuition and some of their expenses and it's transition now so to finish your question I mean it's a whole slew of things but NIL is a competitive advantage in the college you know landscape and it's about being able to source enough funds to be competitive and you know retain the, the best players and recruit the best talent and make sure that we're equipping our coaches with the, the player and the personnel in order to help them win championships. Now, Pearson, I know you got into this thing right at the beginning as well. Um, can you explain to the listener how, the, how this works, how we operate? I mean, obviously, we have two different entities. We operate sort of different types of business out of those two entities. Can you just explain how it works? Yeah, uh, simply at a, at a high level, you know, we're helping athletes manage their time and just focus on their school and their sport. And so from there, you know, we field inquiries from, from you know, business owners, from, from donors, people that want to support K-State student athletes and NIL at K-State. And so, you know, we're able to partner those passions because for the first time, people can actually, you know, actually decide where their dollars want to go, whether that's a specific athlete, um, a sport in general, or all K-State student athletes. So, um, you know, we work with donors if, if they're looking to help support the community as well, uh, specifically here in the Manhattan area. You know, we do have a 501c3. Um, approved by the IRS to be able to help help <clears throat> these K-State student athletes 
uh, monetize their name, image, and likeness by, by being out in the community and uplifting those charities. Uh, and then on the flip side of things, you know, we work with business owners and businesses in general for advertising or marketing deals. Uh, you know, we're able to help bring them, you know, promotion, uh, whether that's through social media, meet and greets, those types of things, and help bring value to their organizations. And then obviously help, help the student athlete monetize their name, image, and likeness. Now, Pearson, I know obviously your your day job is is in the financial space, and and obviously NIL just implicates the financial space. And so, a question that we often receive is, are these athletes being are these athletes being educated on on investing and on taxes? Because obviously, the dollars that they receive are taxable. And I know this is sort of one of your roles within our group. So, um, could you just explain how we? how we attack that, that issue or that dynamic within this space. Absolutely, it was actually my passion to get into this, is how are these kids gonna understand that you know, this is something that's gonna fall on them for taxes? Um, are they gonna save, budget, invest it you know, accordingly so that when they leave K-State, they're in a much better position than when they got there? Um, there's some examples of can they help you know, change their family's lives um, or where they're currently at or have them come to more games? Um, so for, for our group, you know, we're going to look for different partners, whether it's, you know, CPAs, other investment advisors to help educate them simply that, you know, they're, they're going to be self-employed here and you're going to pay more taxes than a typical, you know, employee does who's getting a salary. Um, we have to make sure that you're withholding for those taxes so that you're not in a bad, you know, bad status with the IRS. So little simple things like that. And then obviously it elevates from there year over year into budgeting and investing in themselves for the long term so that, you know, when they leave K-State, whether that's through professional sports or not, um, they're on a better foot for themselves and their future families. Factors delicious, ready to eat meals make eating better every day easy. Wherever tomorrow takes you, be ready with pre-prepared, chef-crafted, and dietitian-approved meals delivered right to your door. You'll have over 35 different options a week to choose from, including keto, calorie smart, vegan, and more. Get started today and have a feel-good week of meals ready to go. Factor is the perfect solution if you're looking for fast, upscale options done easily. Get as much or as little as you need by choosing 6 to 18 meals per week. Plus, you can pause or reschedule your deliveries anytime. Head to factormeals.com slash cattalk50 and use code cattalk50 to get 50% off. That's code cattalk50 at factormeals.com slash cattalk50 to get 50% off. The meals are no prep, no mess. Factor is the perfect solution if you're looking for fast upscale options done easily. Now, Ryan, you know, we're, we're obviously our name kind of indicates that we're that we're our name and our logo indicates that we're tied in with K-State. Obviously, by NCAA rule, we cannot be underneath the institution's umbrella. But can you explain the dynamic between us and K-State or the relationship between us and, and, the, and the individuals who are, you know, prominent within K-State athletics? Yeah, I mean, we work hand in hand together. And this is a K-State program. This is for all Wildcats. This is for all sports, all the coaches, whether it's top level administration or coaching staffs, we're all in lockstep. And that uh, includes the Ahern Fund. So this is just, uh, it's a challenge because we had all of these fundraising arms that existed, the Alumni Center, the Foundation, Ahern, and now insert NIL. And it's kind of awkward in nature. Like, where does NIL fit? You know, where does the money come from? But we are working very hard to diligently foster relationships to make sure that we're elevating the K-State brand and working with every single person who wears purple. Like this isn't the Wildcat and IL teams venture. This isn't just for Coach Tang or Coach Kleiman. This is to support the Wildcat and K-State brand. So we obviously, Pearson explained that we have a 501c3 through which we take in donations um, from, from our fan base and then, and then you know, use that for the, you know, to, for, we engage with the athletes to go out and promote local charities. We also have our LLC through which we do business deals. Explain our membership program uh, to the listener. I know this is something that was, that was very important to you and, and explain how the general fan base can get involved there. Yeah. If any fan believes that they can't get involved with NIL because they don't have enough money, that's not true. You know, we have memberships starting at $10 a month and that makes a difference. This is something that's going to take everybody at K-State. And when the entire K-State family gets involved, look out because we're going to be dangerous and we're not only going to be competitive in the Big 12, we're going to be competitive nationally. So um, the one vehicle is the membership. You know, you can go to our website, catsnil.com, and find various 
memberships from 10 bucks a month all the way up to $90 a month. And you get various perks and access to merchandise and memorabilia and some kind of uh, player interactions. But really what it's about is finding a way for every single person to get involved. And it doesn't matter how big or how small of a gift you're able to make. If you want to see K-State succeed and you want to contribute to the success, I mean, what a special time in K-State athletics. And to be able to give a monthly contribution, that's helping make a difference. That's helping us. You know, right now, our football program is supposed to finish um, with a bid to the college football playoffs. I mean, that's unprecedented in Kansas State history. We had an elite run in Coach Tank's first year. Our women's basketball team is top five in the country. Like it is a special time and we need everybody su to support. So the membership is just a great example of how you can support without making a, a large donation. And, and obviously that's an important piece. And, and there's other ways that you can get involved via our website. Pearson, we've, we've heard, we've heard coach Tang talk a number of different times about the importance of NIL. I think he's told us time and time again that, that NIL is the biggest, it is the most important thing right now at K-State or within his program. Sometimes NIL receives a negative connotation. People just think, oh man, we're paying these kids all this money and they don't have any idea what to do with it. They're just spending it on, on, on unnecessary things. But Coach Tang has told us a number of different stories about how this money is being used for good. I think, you know, there may be a couple that stick out in your mind that you could, that you could talk about. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think Ryan talked about, you know, just elevating everything for these athletes. And a big part of that is, is financial stress. And this is just leveling the playing field for all these athletes who have never been able to monetize um, based on their name, image, and likeness in the past. And so um, what does that look like applicably? You know, we've, we've heard stories of players who've been able to move their families out of a bad part of town, um, closer to, uh, you know, a school that they, they had a, a sibling that actually had a developmental disability. And so they're able to be closer to that school so, so that their mom didn't have to drive all the way across town and just really help change their, their family's day-to-day -day life back home. Uh, we've heard a number of stories of, you know, my, my parents or, or parent weren't able to watch me um, other than getting on TV. And they're actually to come back and, and see what the K-State family is about and be here and be in person and be involved, you know, in, in their kids' lives. And, and as you know, you know, being a former player, having your parents in the stands, I mean, there's no better feeling than when lose or draw, you come out and you're able to hug and, and, and be loved on by your family. There's no better feeling. We'll dive deeper into this conversation after the break. But before then, I want to tell you about our good friends at Home Field Apparel. Get on over to homefieldapparel.com and get your hands on some of Homefield's K-State selection of over 40 items that are thoughtfully created by Homefield's team. I personally have several pieces from their K-State selection and I'm wearing my favorite Homefield sweatshirt today featuring an old school Willie the Wildcat. Homefield apparel is incredibly high quality and comfortable apparel. And there's something for everybody at homefieldapparel.com. Be sure to use the promo code CATSNIL24 when you check out to get 10% off your order. And when you use that promo code, Homefield will donate 10% of your order back to Wildcat NIL so we can support K-State student athletes. Again, get on over to homefieldapparel.com today and use the promo code CATSNIL24. Absolutely. And, and Ryan, did you have a point to add there? Well, I had a question for you. Yeah, of and course. I don't mean it. That's a phenomenal point. So you bring up the fact that you th there's a negative connotation around NIL. Curry, in your experience, how do you think Kansas State fans perceive NIL? And how do you think we need to embrace this, this journey as a university and as a collective fan base? Absolutely. I, I mean, I think naturally we're, we're an ag school in the middle of, you know, somewhere in the middle of Kansas. So I think naturally there's a conservative approach to NIL, maybe a little bit of a hesitance toward NIL, which I think, which, which is fair uh, to a degree. I mean, obviously for the first hundred plus years of the NCAA's existence, student athletes couldn't receive compensation. Um, and then all of a sudden on July 1st, 2021, that changed. And when it changed, nobody knew what course it would take. I think people thought, oh, it'll just be some one-off endorsement type deals. I don't know that anybody necessarily foresaw it becoming what it is now, where you have these, these alumni-led collectives active in the space and all this other activity going on. And so I think with that, people have, and, and obviously in, in the reporting on it, it hasn't always 
you know, looked at it in the light most favorable to the student athlete. A um, lot of reporting on it has been has been done in, in a negative light, and so I think naturally people are hesitant about NIL. The fact of the matter is, it is the singular most important thing right now affecting athletics. You know, we've 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 had we were a part of the facilities race for a really long time. That was that was priority number number one for the last decade and a half, and and we don't have really any facility needs. Now these student athletes will tell you that when they go look at a prospective school, they're not they don't care so much anymore about the facilities. They care about are you going to get are you going to get me to the next level and and what NIL opportunities am I going to have? And so I think it's important that our fan our fan base embrace NIL um, because it is something like you said it can be a competitive advantage. On the flip side, if we don't embrace it as we should or as we need to, it can really serve as as, as a competitive disadvantage. And so I would encourage the fan base to get involved, to support our players, to support our coaches by getting involved with NIL. Absolutely. Now, guys, I, I know you know a couple. I, I don't know how much how much more we want to cover here, but we've had we, we've we've done some interesting and, and unique things over the course of our our almost two year existence. You know, you mentioned the walk on initiative. We've 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 helped put. A number, probably in total, probably a dozen walk-ons over the course of the last almost two years on essentially what is a full scholarship. Um, we've created a, you know, we've created a beer with Manhattan Brewing Company. We've put on different different successful events. What would be? What's your favorite NIL deal to date? You know, um, our group was able to, you know, Curry kind of source this. We did a, a beef deal with the Kansas Beef Council and worked with Kansas State and the Kansas State O line um, to basically create a hat that was a high demand, the K State beef. And what was special about this is we sold, you know, far over a thousand hats, but every hat we sold, we donated a pound of ground beef to a, um, a local food shelter. And you do the quick numbers, you know, that's. 4,500 different meals served for the community. So that's making an impact through NIL. And it's not all about the negative light. And we can go down the list. You know, we've had student athletes donate blood for the American Red Cross. And the American Red Cross says every donation saves three lives. Like that's their statistic. You can look at it on their website. So if you have 30 athletes that go donate blood, well, then there's 90 lives saved. So you talk about an unquantifiable impact. You know, we're making lasting change like Pearson talked about. We're teaching, you know, young student athletes how to manage money. And because of that, they're going to change their lives forever. So lots of things we could talk about there. Absolutely. You have a favorite deal? Yeah, it's hard to say. I, I think one of the coolest full circle deals that we've done was being able to support Skylar Thompson's foundation. You know, a former player who was here who really didn't have, you know, a lot of time underneath the, the NIL kind of framework. And, and for him to have, you know, current student athletes go and support that and raise money for a cause, it's so near and dear to his heart. I'm excited to see as, as more and more guys go pro or, or continue their ventures after K-State, how that's going to be, you know, involved back in this K-State community and, and truly make it that family atmosphere that we talk about. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I'm going to, anything, anything else? Yeah. Okay. Um, how about we just kind of go around the table and one last message to K-State yeah. fans and what they need to understand about Wildcat NIL and, yeah what we're doing at Kansas State. Absolutely. If you want to kick it off. Yeah, so uh, to wrap up here, I think, you know, just, just want to go around the table and talk about what we, you know, from our, from our different perspectives, what we want maybe the fan base to know about NIL and, and maybe a charge to our, to our fan base about getting involved with NIL. And so, Pearson, I'll start with you. Is there anything you'd like to share with the fan base just about how to get involved or, or, or you know, why NIL is important? Yeah, I think as you've heard on on the other podcasts that you know we've we've talked about with with student athletes and coaches alike that that this is important right here right now and there's no better time to be a K State Wildcat than the concert the, than the current success of our programs. Uh, you know we've had phenomenal facilities, um, but we are now out recruiting against and competing against the top teams in the country. Um, I know for basketball, especially close to me and me, you're competing against Duke, Michigan State, Kansas for recruits that that we've truly never competed um, against before. And, and NIL is now, you know, the biggest component of that. And being in the conversation, we have the staff, we have the administration, uh, we have the right people here who are going to bring in the right athletes um, to be at K-State for the right reasons. And we can't let NIL hinder that. And so I just, 
you know, really kind of the, the call to action here is there is there is a way to get involved for everyone. Go to catsnil.com and find something that that really fits in your everyday routine. We have, you know, rounding up credit card purchases. We have a debit card for every swipe, you know, the dollars are coming back to Wildcat and IL. There are things to get involved um, outside of just giving money every month or year. Uh, go find one of those and, and just kind of get involved with what NIL is at K-State because that's what's going to make us outwin um, and outlast all these other programs. Outstanding. Yeah, I think for me, you know, I just circle back to the opportunity, the opportunity that lies in front of us. We talk about so much family in the K-State brand. Well, a college athletics program needs three things in today's day and age to be successful. You need the facilities, you need the coaches, and you need NIL. And we have the first two. And we're working on creating the NIL opportunities here. And what is the K-State brand? Is it about competing for Big 12 championships? That's the expectation now. Now our brand is elevating and we've never had a better time to gain a competitive advantage from a change in NCAA rules like we do right now. And if we want to be able to compete at the national level with the expectation to be in the playoffs, to make deep runs into the tournament, it's through NIL. If we want to keep our coaches, we want to keep Coach Kleiman, we want to keep Coach Tang, it's through NIL. If we want to build the best rosters and continue to elevate Manhattan, NIL is an opportunity for us to do it. So let's embrace it. I know it's uncomfortable. I know it's unique. But this is something that K-State can harness where everyone else in the country looks at Manhattan and they're like, what are, what, what are the Wildcats doing? Because we're going to do NIL the right way and we're going to continue to make a difference. And we're going to do it the K-State family way. Absolutely. And as Pearson said, you can go to catsnil.com and learn more information. There are a ton of different options available on the website, and, and you can reach out to any of the three of us um, if you have any questions or want to chat about anything specific. And that's it for this episode of Cats Talk, hosted by Wildcat NIL. We appreciate your time, and go Cats. K-State family, thanks for tuning in to this episode of Cats Talk, hosted by Wildcat NIL. We hope you enjoyed the conversation. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, or even leave a five-star review. And please follow us on social media. Your support makes it so that these conversations are possible. If you're looking for more information on NIL, please visit www.catsnil.com. Thanks for your support, and go Cats!